Southern traditional banjo pickers have developed a great variety of styles over the years, and on this video I'd like to help you learn some of the styles that evolved in the early to mid 20th century, most of which I've picked up from Southern traditional players. On this piece, I use several guitar styles. First, I play the melody in the country ragtime style. It's based on Tennessee and Sam McGee's guitar playing on the original circa 1930 Uncle Dave Macon recording of this song. Later in the song, I play melody a little like Kentucky. with the backup styles. First of all, you'll need chord fingerings in this tuning. Here's a C. And an F. And another F, which is the C chord just run up to the fifth fret. And by moving it up two more frets. Here's how you can play the melody in this style. I'm going to start with just the first half of the first line. strings. Fretting or noting the string with a slide, a, a metal tube, isn't unusual for guitar, but it's, it's pretty rare for a banjo. I've adapted this technique to one of Doc Boggs' songs, the Down South Blues. It's one that he picked up in the mid-twenties from a recording of an urban blues. <laughs> Gonna catch a fastest train that goes. I'm a going back south. And uh, you don't want to press the strings down too tight like this. Okay. And uh, that's about the way it should look. Now, most of the time, you also place one finger on the strings just uh, on the side towards the peg head to deaden the overtone. If you haven't already learned this, here's the basic lick. Make sure you got this solid before you go on. This is Roll On John. And I 
As you noticed, I play the melody while I'm singing, and between lines I play a kind of rhythm lick using the first and fourth strings as drones. Note that the downbeat falls on the first string. Here's that rhythm filler. Now let's learn the melody. Most of it's played by noting the strings between the fifth and ninth frets. Here's the first line. Thank you. 